guys welcome back so we're gonna be checking out 11 surprising facts about Islam so let's check it out did you know that there are 1.6 billion Muslim people in the world that's roughly 23% of the world's population in fact Islam is currently the second largest religion in the world next to Christianity What's happening everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton and welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. I'm back from traveling so I'm in my regular set now. Now here on this channel we've given you scientific facts, facts about your favorite celebrities as well as facts about countries and places, but we've never given you facts about a specific religion or a religious figure. So to stay true to our FTD Facts mandate to give you facts about everything and everything, we're jumping into the religious facts starting off with Islam. I know many of you guys are also requesting facts about Hinduism and even Buddhism. But those are coming, but for now we got facts about Islam to talk about. Thanks to these guys right here for requesting this topic. This word right here, jihad, we hear it oftentimes associated with Islam. However, that word does not mean holy war like many people think. It actually means to struggle or to strive. And in a religious context, it means the struggle that one faces to submit their will to the will of God. Speaking of submission, Islam means submission. And that submission, of course, is surrendering to God's will. This word Islam also derived from the Arabic word Salam, which means peace. And Muslim means anyone or anything that surrenders itself to the will of God. And by that definition, it doesn't just include humans, it also includes animals and plants. Many of you may know this one already. There are two main sects to the religion of Islam. We have the Sunnis and the Shiites. One of the main differences between the Sunnis and Shiites is their beliefs about who the leaders were following the death of the Prophet Muhammad. Sunni, which comes from the Arabic word tradition, they accepted the succession of Muhammad's elected successors. Sunni Muslims are very strict adherents to the way of life. And Shiite, which comes from the Arabic word for fraction, they're also known as Shia Muslims. They believe that the leaders must be descendants of the Prophet Muhammad through his daughter Fatima and her husband Caliph Ali. And you know what, that actually leads us to this episode's question and that is what is your religion let me know down there and if you don't identify with any religion let me also know that and guys let's try to not fight down there you know we could have various different beliefs but we can still be respectful okay so moving on now there are five pillars of Islam that Muslims follow first up we have the Shahada and that's the statement of faith that all Muslims recite at least once in their lifetime then we have the Salat or the Salah and this is a daily ritual prayer of faith done five times a day. Zakat, this is a tax paid to benefit the poor or those in need. And then we have Psalm, this is the fast done during the month of Ramadan. And finally, Hajj. And this is a pilgrimage that every Muslim must do at least once in their lifetime if they can afford it. And this pilgrimage is to the holy city of Mecca, which is located in modern day Saudi Arabia. Now the pilgrimage begins on the seventh or eighth day of the last month of the Islamic lunar calendar and ends on the 12th day of that same month. The name of the shrine located in Mecca where they visit during the pilgrimage or Hajj is called Kaaba and it's considered to be the most holy place for Muslims. Here where the temperature sometimes soars above 120 degrees, shade can feel like the soothing hand of God. Now did you know that Allah has 99 names in the Quran? Muslims believe that Allah or God revealed 99 names or attributes of himself and it's through these 99 names that one can get to know him. A few of those names include Ar Rahman, meaning the merciful, Al Alim, the all knowing, the omniscient, Al Wali, the protecting friend, patron, and helper, and Ar Razak, the ever providing. So we already know that the amount of people that identify as Muslim is 23% of the world's population. But which part of the world has the largest amount of Muslims? Well, that country is Indonesia. There are 120 million Muslims in Indonesia, followed by Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. However, future projections believe that by the year 2050, India is going to have the largest amount of Muslims. Islam also shares many religious figures and historical events with Judaism and Christianity. Muslims consider Jesus to be a prophet in Islam, and the Quran mentions Jesus in several verses, as well as the prophet Moses and several others. Now I mentioned fasting on Ramadan a little bit earlier in this video, but just to give you a little bit more detail on that, Muslims fast for 30 days every year for Ramadan. 
which of course is one of the five pillars of Islam. It is believed to be the toughest of all fasts and its end is celebrated on Eid. But why do they fast? Well, I'm sure that many of them do it for their own personal reasons, but most commonly Muslims fast to experience what it feels like to be poor and hungry and to focus on their own spiritual journey. All right, so since 1988, eight countries have had Muslim women as their heads of state. These countries include Turkey, Indonesia, Senegal, Kosovo, Kyrgyzstan, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Mauritius. Also, many other Muslim countries like Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Afghanistan have a higher percentage of women in national elected offices than the United States. Now, I'm sure the rest of you who may not be Muslim, just like me, have heard this term. Assalamu alaikum. That phrase right there means peace be upon you. And that's what I wish for every single one of you watching this video, peace upon you. Too much fighting in the world, you can only really wish for peace anyways. We've come to the end of another episode of the Wow, interesting facts. Yeah, there's one particular video that made me understand that uh, Islam is divided into five pillars. I never knew about that. And that video I, I watched was Islam, the Quran, and the five pillars. The guy, the man actually gave history about the three. And um, this guy also saying it again. I was like, wow, interesting to you know, learn. Then talking about the Kaaba, you know, the prophets, you know, the religion. It's really, really nice to actually watch. So, um, the fact that Indonesia has the highest, um, you know, Muslim population is amazing. Followed by Pakistan. There was a particular video I reacted to and I was like, wow, really interesting. Nice one. Even African country was even part of the list. The place I actually like was when he was asking them questions about what is your religion and let's talk about it, you know. Despite your religion, let's show love, you know, let's respect each other's religion. And I love the way he spoke there when he was sending people to comment in the comment box. So this was really nice to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.